area yesterday. I was at the Sounders game, Rich, and heard that huge clap of yeah. thunder. That was surprising. This time of year, do we normally see thunder? Well, you know, it's interesting. The Northwest, honestly, is known for what they call one-clap thunderstorms. Huh. You'll just have these cells that produces one bolt of lightning and the thunder, and that's all it does. Wow, that's so, weird. But uh, this one was apparently very strong and very, very loud. It was heard in a lot of places. Yeah. But interesting afternoon. We had a convergence zone yesterday afternoon after a beautiful spring-like uh, Saturday. Saturday, I thought spring was here. It's gorgeous. So it was bad news for the weeds in my yard. I finally got out and started working on them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still a big battle headed my way. And the good news is, though, it's going to be a lot more spring weather headed our way to do battling against uh, weeds or whatever else outside. Take a look outside. Gray morning around uh, western Washington so far. We've had just a couple showers around. Things beginning to dry out. We're kind of between weather systems. There's nothing really driving our weather very strongly. So cloudy out there. We've seen a few sun breaks and just a few showers scattered around the area. Quite a few spots. And let's see if this guy's going to decide to work for me. Oh, we did an upgrade on the computer today between shows. It doesn't seem to have made it work better, does it? Hmm. Well, let me walk. There we go. Uh, you know what? It just needed to settle in and get a feel for itself. So apparently the upgrade did work after all. You can see on the Doppler radar, still seeing a little bit of convergence up here, seeing these showers up here to the north. But most spots actually dry, if particularly cloudy around the area this afternoon. Things should be improving a little bit as we head towards later on. I'm still seeing a few showers up in the mountains. They got a big dump of snow around 10, 11 inches up there at Snoqualmie yesterday. It had the uh, convergence zone aimed at it. But Pretty much in good shape across the passes today with just a little bit of light snow. And a quarter school net side showing the gray skies as well. And out there at Wishka Valley along the coast, they had some fog earlier, but that's cleared out. But still a cloudy day by and large in there at St. Mary Magdalene School. Been seeing some occasional sun breaks, and we'll see more of those as we get farther into the afternoon. Temperatures right now running mostly in the low to mid 40s, and we'll pick up a few more degrees on that as we see a little bit of sunshine breaking out. Headed up towards the mountains, well, they, as I said, picked up pretty good snowfall. Five inches of new there at Baker, six for Stevens Pass. The Snoqualmie area is about 10, four to five there at Crystal and White Pass, about six inches. And if you're headed up there, uh, cloudy skies in the mountains right now, but no driving problems across the passes. Uh, just traction tires uh, just advised at the most and otherwise pretty easy driving across the mountain passes. We're kind of between weather systems, I said. You can see a big low off the coast that just kind of sits out there and spins the next couple of days, putting most of the moisture well to the south of us, what it is. And then for us, we'll see the showers wrap up today. You should see a little weak high pressure move through. That's going to give us some sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as we head towards late Wednesday, we'll see a little system rotate up out of this into us for kind of a rainy day Thursday. But then right now, it looks like we're back to sunshine as we head towards uh, the end of the week and on into the weekend. And temperatures finally getting back up to normal into the low to mid 50s. So checking the mountain forecast, just a few showers around today. Continued moderate avalanche hazard up in the mountains. So you want to uh, be really careful if you head outside the uh, avalanche controlled areas. Snow level rising to about 2,500 feet this afternoon. Down here in the lowlands, just a few showers around mixed with sun breaks. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 40s. Tomorrow and Wednesday, we'll see partly to mostly sunny skies, low to mid 50s, which finally is where our normal should be this time of the year. A little rainy on Thursday, but then back to sunshine for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. High temperatures for later in the week and over the weekend, again in the low to mid-50s, so it will start to feel very much like spring is coming.